boat and managed to save three people from the hurricane is now homeless. That all happened near Fort Myers Beach. And Brooke Schaefer joins us live. Brooke, so many people are rebuilding their lives right now, including this hero. Yeah, Nicole, over and over, we have heard stories of survival. People who made it out of the storm alive, but lost everything they owned. Much like the guy who lived on this boat. He is a veteran. He even helped save some people during the hurricane. But now his home is gone, and he doesn't know what he's going to do next. This boat was turned around sitting in these two lanes. Doug McGill's boat is now flipped on its side, tossed among mangled metal, destroyed in the wrath of Hurricane Ian. I decided to stay on the boat because it's my home. His home, now a total loss, parked on the side of the road leading to Fort Myers Beach, where the Category 4 hurricane unleashed some of its worst devastation. Cell phone video from a convenience store down the street last week shows rising floodwaters several feet high. In the middle of the worst of it, McGill, a Navy veteran, says he saved three people trapped inside a house. The boat was slamming into the side of the building and they stuck their head out the window. They had about a foot before the water was, had them trapped in there and they popped out the window and I jumped into a dinghy and then from the dinghy I got him on the boat. The right spot at the right time, or the worst time, he put it. Once you figure out what direction you're going to go. McGill is thankful to be alive, but still grappling with the question of what he'll do next. I sacrificed the boat and just out of the way the wind blew me, blew me up next to a building to save three guys' lives. Other than that, there's my home. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I actually don't know what I'm going to do. So tonight he is staying with some friends for now. His son started a GoFundMe page to help him get back on his feet. But he, like so many others here in Southwest Florida, have a long road ahead. Nicole? Something tells me he will get some help. Brooke, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.